Welcome back to a special edition of the program. I'm Holly Grani. We're live in The Hague in the Netherlands. As uh, I want to reiterate our breaking news, according to very preliminary exit polling, it appears as though the party of the incumbent prime minister has come out on top and then a three-way tie between three other parties, including the party of Gert Wilders and D66. And Marietta Schacker is a member of the European Parliament representing the Liberal Dutch Democratic Party, or D66, and she joins me now. What do you make of these very, as I mentioned, preliminary results? Well, it shows that um, that the fragmentation is still very much present, but that the Prime Minister's party would have done better than projected, mm -hmm. and uh, Geert Wilders did not come in first, which is what brings a lot of international media here, I suppose. So does that mean this populist fever has stopped in the Netherlands? Can we say that? Well, that's what D66, my party, fought for. Mm -hmm. uh, we've always put a progressive agenda opposed to a nationalist conservative agenda, mm -hmm. and it's encouraging to see that you can win on that, and I'm very happy to see uh, at least in these initial results, that we've grown significantly. Your party is pro-Europe. It's pro-diversity. I mean, it has a very different take on immigration. And Absolutely. Those very important topics than parties more to the right. You think you've come out on top in some ways because of that? Well, we've definitely won, and we've stuck to this constructive agenda. I think there's a big difference not only between conservative and progressive in this election, but also between those who are willing to take responsibility and those who are only pointing to what other people have done wrong, where the problems are, without offering concrete solutions or showing a willingness to take on responsibility. So going forward, of course, and in the Netherlands, it's all about coalitions. You Nobody gets a majority. You need to build teams and you need to build teams to form a government. Mm -hmm. So obviously you're looking forward to D66 being part of a coalition? Well, it's very early to tell, so I don't look forward to anything at this moment except for final results tonight. Uh, we are looking forward to seeing how they come out as we go on. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, it will be uh, a challenge to put together a majority government uh, in this fragmented landscape. But mm -hmm. it's something that we've done before. We have representative democracy and coalition governments historically here in the Netherlands. So it yeah. requires people that can work together. And that's also a big distinction in the different parties, some that are willing to cooperate and others that are not. But regardless of what coalition comes together, we know that Gerd Wilder's party will not be part of it. We know that. Well, his agenda, Nobody's going to work with him. Yeah. Well, his agenda is fundamentally on a number of points against our constitution. So mm -hmm. it's quite extreme in that sense. It makes it very difficult to bring on board others. And a number of parties, uh, including my own, have said that they cannot and will not work to, uh, to work on this uh, program. So I don't see there as a possibility, and I doubt that this is actually what Mr. Wilders has in mind. The Labour Party in this country performed terribly. I mean, it was one of their worst results, I think, according to your national broadcaster, I think, ever. Why are some of these establishment parties that used to be the country and many other Western democracies, why are they not getting the support they once, they once did, do you think? Well, it's a mixed bag. I mean, other established parties, such as the Christian Democrats, have done relatively well uh, mm -hmm. compared to where they came from. So it's a mixed bag. And I think that a lot of people have been disappointed in the Labour Party, perhaps also because they had to work with the Conservative Liberals in the last government. And they seem to have been punished for that, while the Prime Minister's party has not lost as much. So you don't think there's any... I mean, when I spoke with the Jesse Klaver of the Greens, mm -hmm. there were literally hundreds of people that, that just, like a magnet, came up to him. He, he's almost like a celebrity here. Yeah. And when you ask... He is a celebrity. And when you ask them, what do you like about him? They say he's young, he's different, he's not this this old guard that just has lived on their own privileges and their, you know, their elite status. Is there something there, do you think? Some truth there to the fact that Dutch politics and other politics also maybe need this injection of fresh blood? Well, I'm very happy to see that a progressive agenda, just like the one that we have uh, fought for, has been uh, gaining ground. So it's not... It's not only the story about Mr. Wilders, which is what it looks like from the outside, but it's much more diverse and it's good. Uh, so in that sense, I think uh, that is why a lot of people are uh, looking to him, but also to other political leaders when they go out in the street and talk to people in the campaign. A very high turnout, it seems. We don't have the final number. Yeah. But I mean, this must be encouraging to you, a member of a, you know, the D66 party and a and, and uh, member of the European Parliament, to see Dutch voters so engaged. Of course, high right. participation is always great. Yeah. Uh, we have the freedom to choose from a wide variety of parties, and I'm very happy to see that many people have 
uh, taken their responsibility and, and used the freedoms that we have to make the choice. What young people have done, they've made such a difference in many elections or have made a difference by not showing up. So I'm very happy that many people understood the importance of these elections and have turned out. We'll see uh, the breakdown, the age breakdown as well. How many yes. people among the young people decided to vote? Maria Tushaka of D66, a member of the European Parliament, thanks so much for joining us here in The Hague. And do stay with us ahead.